Hi, my name is Ben Prince and I'm a mobile mortgage specialist here with TD Canada Trust. I've been in the mortgage industry for the last nine years and I'm here today with Chris Ryan with Royal LePage Atlantic. Hi there, uh, again my name is Chris Ryan, thanks Ben, and um, my background is I've been in, in real estate here in Halifax, the local area for 10 years and I'm actually, I was actually the top producing agent in Royal LePage last year, an individual realtor. Uh, and I've sold over 350 houses, which translates into about $110 million worth of real estate. Wow. It's, uh, so Chris, I guess the reason why I wanted to chat with you today is uh, when I'm meeting with a lot of my customers, I have one common question. And that question basically is, uh, when they're investing in the real estate in their home or doing renovations, how do they get the best return on their investment if they're looking to upgrade their home? Sure. I get that question often too. Uh, there's really two different ways to answer that. One is if you're going to be investing for the enjoyment of yourself, uh, the homeowner, and you just want to enjoy your home more. And the other is going to be, are you investing in it with the intention of selling? Um, I won't get into the long <laughs> explanation because this is just a quick video, but it really depends on what it is. If you're, if you're intending on selling, then you would want to really focus on return on investment with regards to a high psychological return. Uh, to our prospective buyer. So it would be a low cost to you, but it's a big impact to a buyer when they look at the house for enjoyment and viewing and all that type of thing. That or if there's a construction issue or insurance or water or electrical, that type of thing, because I have a construction background, it would be anything like that. So if there's going to be an inspection issue, you would want to clear that up. Uh, and then if you're just looking to spiffing it up, then it's all about return on investment with regards to bringing it to the market. So when you're thinking about selling your house, you almost have to shift your perspective to I'm almost the tenant. So I don't, uh, don't want to invest any more in this property unless I'm going to get paid back because right. I want to save my, uh, my dollars to spend on my next house where I'm going to enjoy it. Now with regards, if you're going to stay in the house, that's a different play altogether. You're really going to be spending it just to make sure that to enhance the property so you can, so you can live there. And then I can certainly give some advice on, you know, what to do, which, which will help you return on investment when you eventually go to sell it. So carpet and hardwood and all that type of thing. Great, great, great. Thanks, Chris, for answering that question. Uh, and if you guys wanted to contact us, feel free to contact us at the information uh, below. Yep, just below our websites and everything else. Thanks. Thanks so much.